Thank you. Thank you very much, and it's my great pleasure on behalf of the Finnish government to welcome you all to Helsinki. And uh, I assume the consensus-driven decision-making you were talking about is uh, expecting me to be in a parliament in about 10 minutes, but uh, just a couple of ideas. I think it's not a com coincidence that a hundred comes from Finland or that this event takes place in Helsinki. Because it, uh, Finland and the Finnish people very much love and respect education. That's something that it's very in the heart of Finnish uh, society. And in our hundred years of uh, independence, we've counted on education as our greatest resource. And when we wrote our government's program three years, three and a half years ago, we wrote that we want Finland to be a country where everyone loves to learn new things all the time. We want Finland to be a modern country that is also the model country for modern learning. And this event is a great opportunity for us to also learn from other countries and innovations like all around the world. And that's why I'm so proud of the work Hanred does. Finland's education system is built around one core value, which is equal access to quality education. We want that each children, like each, each child, each individual, may reach their full potential, no matter uh, their background or their place of birth. We want, want every school to be uh, a place of world-class learning. As a mother of a little girl, I don't have to choose a school uh, between, like I don't have to choose the school between schools. I can count on the fact that the nearest, the closest school is the best school in the world when we live in Finland. And according to uh, PISA studies, differences between schools in Finland are the second lowest in the world, and that's something we're very proud of here in, in Finland. Finnish people see equal access to education as a vital ingredient of our whole nation's success. And I'm proud of all the ex achievements, like in PISA, and all these inno social in innovations, like free school meals to everyone since 1948 already, free study materials and, and finance aid, financial aid to students in secondary and higher education. They were all like innovations in their time. And now we in Finland kind of take them for granted. And it's time to come up with new innovations, ones that will give more possibilities for learning for every child. There is a growing gap between boys and girls in learning outcomes and their motivation in Finland and in many Western countries. And this is one of the biggest challenges today. How can we make this gap smaller and eliminate it? One of the biggest strengths of Finnish education is our highly educated and motivated teachers, the best in the world. Teachers are, in Finland, well respected in the society, and becoming a teacher is an attractive career choice for our young people. It's also a competitive career. Our faculties of education in our universities can choose among the best applicants. Finnish teachers have a great deal of independence. Like after having this uh, high quality master level education, they have a very strong independence, the pedagogical autonomy in their day to day uh, schoolwork. Teachers have the freedom to choose the materials they use, the methods they use. They can choose the innovations they use, like new technologies and so on. This allows teachers to use the latest innovations in schoolwork and it allows for teachers to innovate too. They are the ones that do these like small and big innovations like every day in our school, in our schools all around the country. Educational innovators agree that schools must change. This is what this like event is about. We discuss how how fast the world is, rapidly the world is changing, and how schools must change as well. And the question is: how? How does this happen? And I'm certain that change in schools is made by the teachers, and only by the teachers. In Finland, it's clear that there, there is no reform or no, and no innovation that can be put into use without involving the teachers. And that is why our government has, invent, is, has invest, 
invested heavily in teacher training and continued education for teachers. We created, for example, a system of tutor teachers who help their colleagues, like mentoring uh, and helping other colleagues in implementing the new curriculum we have and, use, for example, in using new technologies. Our autonomous teachers are the best experts of teaching and our society rely, uh, relies on their professionalism. And it's not my business, for example, as a politician to tell our teachers how to teach. They are the professionals to do that. And we are more like facilitating this uh, so that the schools and teachers can do their job. And for example, as, as like innovator, there are many people here who do like have invented like new innovations and so. And for an innovation to succeed, you have to convince the teachers that it works. This is something that we must always remember. Uh, looking into the future, education is more important than ever. It's like obvious to say this, but it's, it's a fact that it's more important than ever. And to solve the big challenges facing the globe, we need more knowledge, more, more education, we need more research, and we need more cooperation. Unfortunately, the world is in the middle of a global learning crisis, and more than half of the world's school-aged children are not getting basic skills in reading, writing, and mathematics. And this is a great injustice and requires atten attention from us all. After all, education is the key to improving sustainability, equality, and well-being of entire nations. Educational innovations are vital so that these goals can be achieved in the entire world. Working to make education possible for all humanity is our duty as innovators and professionals of education. You have been our guest here in Finland for a couple of days and you've gathered, gathered here to talk about innovations and education, about teaching and learning, about technology and solutions. And it's wonderful to see how 100 has encouraged innovators in education from all parts of the globe to come forward with their ideas. 100 is doing an excellent, excellent job and its activities demonstrate love of learning and faith in education as a force for good in this world. And once again, on behalf of the government, thank you very much for coming to Finland and thank you for your contribution to learning of the future. And now I have to run. <laughs> yes.